Hey guys, what's going on? Guess what? It's the couch. You know what that means. It's IO Responds, our weekend edition. It's been a long time since we've done this. Why am I the only one excited for this? You are so much like a jack in a box, like you know the one things that you wind up. Are you, you saying like because I popped up behind yeah. the couch? Like, do like... you live down there? No, I don't live down there. Is this your, what, you've got your dog back there? Yeah, I don't know, okay. Hi guys, I'm Dave Wobble. I'm Rebecca Felgate. And I'm Dylan Lemoshik. The Lemoshik. <laughs> yep. Lemoshik, that's a really sexy last name. His Moshik oh, brings one. all the boys to the yard, damn right. It's, it's better, better than, than yours. Now, if you haven't met Dylan before, he is one of our fabulous editors, so if you like the way our videos look, it's because Dylan is there. Mm -hmm. And if you hate him, you can put all the hate towards him. This guy right here. Right there. Just kidding, Dylan. We love your stuff. Okay, so today we're changing it up a little bit. We got, we're going to do what, a game called Two Truths and a Dare. But before we do that... Uh, and a lie. Oh, right. Is it Two Truths and a Lie? Oh, it's Two Truths and a Lie. Dare That's, on camera. Well, <laughs> I screwed that up. Thanks, Liam, for fixing that, right? So, Two Truths and a Lie. But before we do that, did you guys hear about uh, what's going on in Antarctica? What is going on in Antarctica? You sound so robotic when you, you say but that. But you I, sound like I, the biggest yeah. Canadian I've ever met. Yo, you know what's going on in Antarctica? Like, we don't, Antarctica! Like, <laughs> I'm not like, no, that did not sound Canadian at all. I don't know, That's the, if you want to do Canadian accent, you gotta like talk like this, eh? Eh? Eh, you got Get it? on with the story, eh? Okay, so anyways, so like, what happened out there in Antarctica, you know, like, apparently they've found uh, Atlantis up there, you know, like, they have found an ancient city underneath the Antarctica. I'm pretty sure this is a bull story, but let's find out a little bit more. They're saying that they found these pyramids and everyone's talking about them, but the problem is they look like they're freaking Photoshop, you know, and that's... Yeah, it's crazy. Right. So, I the know. lost city of Atlantis. The yeah. last time this happened, they made Alien versus Predator, and we all know how that turned out. Yeah, wow. that, was, that was a very terrible movie. The distant laughs of Michael McCrudden. Yeah, he's just like, he didn't want to be in it. I know, we miss him. But he got a really nice new shirt. He's dating a designer, so it's Ooh. like, yeah. Oh. She's dressing him now. So, <laughs> anyways, all right, so let's move on to uh, our game, Two Truths and a... Lie. lie. Two truths and a lie okay, time. Right. So who wants to start? I, I, you start. I don't know what I'm going to say. She's going to throw it on me? Yeah. Uh, Can okay. we have a rough topic? Is Do there a rough topic? I think yours should be on... Um, love. Love. No, oh, I already had mine planned out. Oh, do. like, don't be throwing stuff. <laughs> all right. I'm not kidding. I had to think before. Okay. Are we just going to do all right at the... At the back, like you tell one, I tell one, I tell one, and then you. No, no, no I, I think it has to be all three, and then you guys have to guess, and then we move on to the next one. Yeah. Liam, is that how it goes? Mm -hmm. okay, okay, all right, here we go. Um, all right, Don't so I drink my coffee black. Um, I love soccer. I, I'm Jamaican. See, I know that you are part Jamaican because you've had this conversation. I feel like we would have had a conversation about soccer, or as we call it, football, because um, that's the real word, guys. We probably would have had a conversation about it mm -hmm. if that was true. And I think that you take your coffee black because I'm sure I've bought you a coffee before and you've been like, oh, I'll have it black. Yeah, that's how I saw him so, all the time. So for me, I'm thinking the soccer. You know what? I'm going to go with the fact that he said he's Jamaican as a lie because I know he's half Jamaican, but he's not full Jamaican. That still counts. It's, it's, it's all in how you say it. Like if you said I'm half Jamaican. Okay. I uh, absolutely not a big fan of football. Why? It's it's a, it's a good it's, game. No, it isn't. Do it's, you know you what? You sit there and you watch people just stand there and go, oh, Carson, Carson. Have you actually a Have you ever actually watched football? And B, let okay, me talk to yeah. you, North America, about your sport. It's great, but why does it stop all the time? At least with football, soccer, it plays for 45 minutes, then 45 minutes. There's no stopping. There's no whannying around. But like, yeah, I like football. Like the Eagles are great. That's just not, not that real football. football. That and it stops football. all the time. And you kick it, you know. So I don't know. Ah, uh, me. Tennis is where it's at. You know, might be ridiculous in the outfits that they wear, but it's like, pew, 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 pew. Well, it's like you yeah. know, you're deflecting laser bullets. I don't know. So okay, all right, let's move on. You. Um, can you give me a topic? Cause I haven't even thought of any. Love. Love. Yeah, okay. you gotta do the love one now. You're doing love, yeah. Love is in the air. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, um, oh god. Okay, so um I have been with my boyfriend Will. Sorry, lads out there. It's prob's not gonna happen unless you fight Will in a duel. Please don't do that. For four years. Fact or lie. Um my first boyfriend. <laughs> Um, I can't say this word 
on camera, but my mum hated him because he was several years older than me and she called him the, let's say, posser. Um, didn't like him. Yep. And number three is I once had a cheeky affair with a Danish man. Not a fair, he wasn't married, but like, we went out a bit. Danish man's the lie. Danish man is the lie. You're wrong, I went out with a Danish man. He was fit, but he couldn't <laughs> commit. And I bet he's sorry now, cause we're on TV, sort of. Why see your ties. Why like so English? Like, you have to see The Danes that. are fit, but yeah, non-committal. Yeah. Okay, so mm. then, which one is it? Uh, the, oh, the lie. Oh, actually, they're all truths. Oh, God. Oh, God. You, you broke the <laughs> system. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> that up. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought this was just like getting to know me time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, Dave, you got to salvage this. <laughs> oh, hold on. You got to piece this back together. Okay, hold on. Okay. So, one, one lie. Okay, um... You can do it. I know, I can. I gotta think for a second. Saw a man shit his pants once. That's not about love. I did, I'm not doing love, you did love. No, that's not fair. <laughs> no, you did love, I'm not doing love. You were just doing this. shitting pants. Yeah, I saw, <laughs> saw, a man, saw a man shit his pants once. Um, had heart surgery. And... I like coffee. Um, you never saw a man his pants. I know you've had heart surgery. Actually, you might not like, no, you don't like coffee because you feel, I mean, sure. this already happens. You sure? Imagine this with coffee. Are you sure? I don't think you like coffee. I don't think you like coffee. Can you imagine him after some coffee? Damn it! I thought I'd get you on this shit his pants. <laughs> yeah, um, I actually did see a guy shit his pants once. Can I do mine again? Mine was rubbish. Yeah, that, no, you failed. You, <laughs> you don't get to it. Okay, all right, fine. But this time, it's going to be about, we need a topic. Okay. It's not Let's low. do education, because I promise I'm you not dumb. You can't, you can't guess the topic, that's us. Oh. What do we got, Dave? First class degree, um, masters. Embarrassing experiences. Okay. Let me just think of the lie first, I so we don't we're get just stumped again. up on her, like, you know? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Um... I went to Thailand on holiday and um, wore one of those bikinis that you string up and I went sim swimming in the sea and I emerged from the water without my bikini top. Tits everywhere. Um, it's unfortunate. When I was five, I was really obsessed with Peter Pan and I used to leave out a spare <laughs> pair of knickers, pants, underwear, in case he came and took me in the night to Neverland and I knew that having an extra set of pants was really important. I thought you were going to um, say Peter Pan was going to show you a place with no pants. No, I was only five. Um, and the third one is that I used to love The Wizard of Oz and I used to insist on my family calling me Dorothy. And when I would go to the doctor's surgery or the dentist or whatever, unless they called me Dorothy Felgate, I would be like, this is good. Okay. All right. This is and much better than the last yeah. one. This one is what definitely these, true. One of these has to be a lie. First, no, no. Yeah. First one is definitely true. I'm going with that. Because the mm. embarrassing moment at the end, okay. there was some real connection there. Um, I'm going with the second one. Peter Pan and pants. I'm going, I'm going with number one. I feel like that was the least elaborate story of the three. Um, so, sorry, can we have some consensus here or...? Well, I'm going with I'm going with two, Peter Pan. And I'm going with the top coming off. Um, number one. one was a lie. A honey Run! always wears a secure boob cage because you don't want those out and about unless you know you want. But them everybody out and about. has beach problems. Like you know, it's, it seems like a regular thing for a girl. I feel girls, like but... you know, just tie them up tighter. Hope for the best. Like I mean, it, it happens. You go swimming, things come off. And Dylan, did you ever pants or fall off like when you were swimming? I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> Um, very traumatizing event for me. He had as a, a fish child. grab onto his wink, and he's like, was, "Oh God!" Uh, <laughs> that does happen, though. Fish get everywhere. They do. They do. So, guys, you're really like just bringing the flashbacks. And Bring in the flashbacks too. Anyways, fish. guys. Okay, so tell you what, we want you guys to get really into the comments. We want you guys 
to put two truths and a lie. They can be short, they can be long, either way. Everyone else who's reading the comments, I want you to comment on everybody else's and see which ones are lies and truths. I think that's really cool. We can get our commenters like interacting. Yeah, with each other, so. I want to know what's embarrassing. Also, do mm. make sure that one of them is a lie. <laughs> yeah, um, don't, be, um, don't pull Rebecca. <laughs> you can cut the first oh, one out. Also, yeah. I do like this. I like, I like this segment. We should uh, put some more ideas of yeah. topics that we should do for two oh, truths and a cool lie. Idea. Should we do two, two truths and a dare, and then we can do little dare? <laughs> I mean, that could be <laughs> chaos. Two truths and a dare. Yeah, I consider I screwed that one up. This one's been like the episode of mess ups. I messed up the opening. Yeah. You messed this Guess up. Guess who has to fix it? Yeah. yeah. Ah! The editor Perfect. of life. I got a I got a question for you. Oh, we have mm -hmm. questions oh. from a commenter. From a commenter. Commenter. And, and they say. They say. What is the strangest dream you ever had? What is the strangest dream? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Alright. Mm. Um, okay. It was the strangest dream because I still remember. It wasn't like totally strange. Like, I've had dreams where like I go back to like my old cruise ship job and I'm like, I'm like doing that David Bowie labyrinth thing. Like there's like the floors on the ceiling. Like that's pretty weird. But the strangest one that I ever have, and I still remember, it started off like a movie. And there's like these kids on a bus and the bus breaks down. And like you even see titles and everything like that. Like there's so much, and I know I'm a movie fanatic. Anyway, so the bus driver, she's like, okay, I gotta get off. And like, I gotta, you know, leave. So I guess somehow the bus driver lady goes to like this small abandoned little like tavern. And me and my buddy TJ are there. And she's come at the wrong time because there's a bunch of werewolves that are just about to attack because it's gonna be night. And I remember they like the end of the thing, and at the end of the dream, me and my buddy TJ are like holding off these werewolves with cork pop guns, like shooting at them. And then at the very, very end, and this is how I know you never die in a dream, I'm underneath like this railing, like instead of like a, I guess a horse stable or whatever, and you know how they have like the cages and bars. And all of a sudden I see like, the werewolves are coming in, and I see this is a so claw awkward. just go like this onto my face, and I wake up. Because I died in the dream. But you I never... should make a movie out of that, I sir. have thought about it, but without the cork guns. <laughs> so it would be really, really and this cool. I just wonder what happened to the kids on the bus! This all took place on a cruise ship? No, 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 no. I was, that was a different dream. This is, oh. a, this is just one that I've always remembered, and I still don't have it out of my mind. That brain. is heavy. heavy. Um, I often Depending. dream that my teeth are falling out and I hate it. It's really Everybody horrible. has that dream. I, I'm getting to it. Never so mind. I have the dream and I was having this dream one time that my teeth were falling out. I went to brush my teeth and I spat my teeth into the bowl and they went down the sink. But this time I thought, you know what, I don't want to lose those teeth. I'm going to chase them. And so I went on an adventure down the sinkhole and it turned down out that it was, yeah, it was, it was <laughs> down the sinkhole. And, um, the wizard of the sinkhole. <laughs> and I went down there to discover that there was a goblin living in the sewers taking our teeth in in order to build a palace. So, palace of what is the moral of that story? Like, I don't wow. know. Like, I need to eat less cheese before I go to bed. You know what? Yeah, your say brain you is trying to tell you something. Yeah, okay. do you know what they say? Dentists say if you have dreams of your teeth falling out, it's because you're grinding your teeth in your sleep. I do do that, <gasps> apparently. Yep, so that's it. That's why we get them. So, I, Dylan! Mine is the least elaborate. Um, it was when I was a he kid. He woke up as a man. <laughs> <laughs> to, to this day, it's still. <laughs> Over here. Sorry, Take your feet sorry. off the couch. Oh sir. gosh, this is North American stuff. No. But uh, I was a little kid and I was running through the woods, and then one of the trees they grew a face and like ate me, and I was like falling down like an endless hole. But then it, it kind of like faded to black, and then all of a sudden I was like, Tomorrow you're gonna dream about being Robin Hood. And I was like, What? <laughs> what? I, just remember, I just remember waking up. I was like, That was really weird. And then the next night I dreamt about being Robin Hood. Oh my Hood. god. No. Whoa! I love it. I feel like you told me that when I was doing the top 10 weirdest dreams. Yeah, that, Whoa, that that's, was just really weird. That's messed. That's wow. crazy. What do you think it means? What does it mean? What does it mean? Watched a lot of TV as a kid. Yeah. That's it. So. A lot of next time on. Yeah. Right. So this has been a glorious adventure with Dylan and Dave, the D's, the double D's on my side. Um, it's been great. Thank you for watching, I.O. We appreciate your support. I'm Rebecca Felgate. <laughs> Double D's on the side. This is Dylan, this is I'm Dave. Dylan, I'm <laughs> Are you guys laughing as much as I am? Okay. <clears throat> they love boob jokes. I feel like you need to grow up. <laughs>